Hello, I'm The Analyst, and normally I talk about Hollywood's biggest box office flops. Today, however, I'm looking at something a little different. With Beauty and the Beast tracking for one of the biggest openings ever for a PG-rated film, we'll be counting down the top 10 PG-rated opening. The big rule here is that for franchises that have multiple PG-rated entries, they'll be averaged out, and thus they'll only place one entry on the list just so other movies can have a chance to shine. Zootopia The first of many animated films featured on this list, Zootopia is the biggest opening for a member of the Disney animated canon. To get this high, Disney pushed the well-worn concept of talking animals and offered a fresh spin with a mystery. To further add appeal, the film was actually incredible, as was the best-reviewed wide release of 2016 as I mentioned in my Top 20 Best Reviewed Films of 2016 video. As a result, it's the number 10 entry on this list. Opening weekend, 75.06 million. Number 9, Oz the Great and Powerful. Disney strikes again! With this prequel to the classic Wizard of Oz, coming out after a particularly weak couple of months at the 2013 box office, Oz banked on the classic story as well as the charm of its talented cast, its visual wonders, and its 3D. As such, it clocks in at number 9 on the list. Opening weekend, 79.11 million. Number 8, The Despicable Me Franchise. One of three averaged entries on this list, the Despicable Me franchise has proven itself to have quite a lot of family appeal and coming off the first two Despicable Me films, the highest opening of these three so far is the prequel slash spin-off Minions, with 115.72 million, which focused on the exploits of the titular Yellow Minions, which by Monday will now rank as the num as the fifth biggest PG-rated opener. As such, Averaging out the entries in the franchise puts it at number 8. Average opening, 85.21 million. Number 7, The Shrek Films. The second of three averaged entries on this list, there are officially four Shrek films plus one spinoff, which I have decided to exclude as it doesn't exactly have a massive tie into the other films. Coming off the the acclaimed first two films, the latter becoming the highest grossing animated film ever at the time of its release. Shrek the Third was previously the number one PG rated opening at 121.63 million, which would now be number two at this point, though it will be number three as of Monday. Average opening 85.71 million. Number six. Harry Potter. The last of the three average entries on this list, this entry only covers half the Potter films as four rated PG and four rated PG-13. The highest opening of the PG rated ones was Prisoner of Azkaban, the third film, which opened to 93.69 million, or the eighth biggest start for a PG rated film if the averaging wasn't done following up on the goodwill of the previous two entries. Average opening, 87.54 million. Number 5, Inside Out. Pixar makes their first appearance on this list with one of their biggest surprises. Going into Inside Out's release, Pixar hadn't released any new movies in two years and was seen as entering a creative slump with films such as Cars 2 and Brave. However, when it became clear that this was an original, smart film, audiences flocked to it, and while it only opened in second place, it was the biggest non-number one star ever. Opening weekend, 90.44 million. Number 4, The Jungle Book. As I mentioned in my most recent analyst video, this film made more than three times what The Huntsman Winter's War did in its first weekend while in its second weekend which would translate to 60 million plus. So how do it do in its first weekend? Well, doing so well was a result of a visually stunning campaign, well cast 
voice actors, and great reviews, which I previously mentioned in my top 20 best reviewed films of 2016 list. Opening weekend, 103.26 million. Number 3, The Secret Life of Pets. Illumination Entertainment strikes again with the biggest start ever for a non-sequel, non-adaptation film, which bested Inside Out from the year prior, thanks to the strength of Illumination Entertainment following the Despicable Me films. And it's clear they're not going away anytime soon. Opening weekend, 104.35 million. Number 2, Alice in Wonderland. Coming off the 3D craze and the bankability of Tim Burton and Johnny Depp productions, at least at the time, Alice in Wonderland enjoyed one of the best starts ever at the time, riding on a visual high and offering a healthy story for audiences to latch on to. Opening weekend, 116.1 million. And the number one opening weekend for a PG-rated movie is Finding Dory. An easy number one, the sequel to the G-rated Finding Nemo, came out 13 years later, which resulted in quite a bit of pent-up demand to reunite with Dory, Marlin, and of course, Nemo! Resulting in this easily taking the number one spot, at least until Beauty and the Beast officially takes it tomorrow. Opening weekend, 135.06 million. Thanks for watching, press the like button, and be sure to subscribe.